Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Blake Keller. Let's take a look at the top stories for today. Tropical storm Adalia over North Carolina at this point, and three states are seeing flooding and damage. Power has been out for about 300,000, but Surf Pro of Saginaw and Bay City are in Florida helping out any way they can. They have about two dozen team members there with equipment and trailers. Flint Township Police investigating a shooting that left a man in critical condition. And uh, police say this happening at the Fisherman's Cove Mobile Home Park Tuesday. They found a 29-year-old man shot and arrested a 21-year-old man at his home in Flint. Police believe an argument led to the shooting. If you attend Saginaw Valley State University football games, you will need to consider new rules. You will now have to bring one clear tote or a clear plastic bag, one small handbag or clutch without straps. Medical bags, strollers, diaper bags, they're all exceptions, but they can still be searched by security. This is a safety measure and allows for easy access and entry. And now we have uh, TV5 meteorologist Matthew here with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Blake. As we go through today, even though it's a cool start to the day in the 40s, we're eventually back up to 73 this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine as we go through today, too. No worry of any rainfall, so looking great for this evening for high school football across our area. We have Freeland at Swan Valley as our game of the week. That'll be around 70 degrees for that kickoff at 7 p.m. and right around 59 towards the end of the game. You might still just want to have a light jacket at least on standby just in case it does feel a little bit chilly for those later parts of the game. As for the upcoming Labor Day weekend, though, especially by Sunday and Monday, high pressure builds in. That'll be bringing more warmth to our area, quite a bit of warmth. We could even call it a hot weekend, especially with our temperatures into the upper 80s near 90 by then. Take a look at that Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, all right near 90 degrees. Humidity slightly going up by then, too, so it's going to be feeling very nice, feeling a lot like summer as we go through the unofficial end of summer this weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.